All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. All right. Looks like we are live. And I've got, we're right at 7 o'clock right now. Perfect. Um, well, hello, world. Um, let's see if anyone's going to join me bright-eyed, bushy-tailed this morning. I, uh, <laughs> I had the pleasure of two middle-of-the-night wake-up calls from my four-year-old uh, claiming to have have um, bad dreams. He really just wanted to get in bed and snuggle with me, um, which is very cute, except not. <laughs> not when you just want to get some sleep because you know you got to get up at six to get ready for your 7 a.m. virtual hit and yoga class. So anyway, we're here though. I'm here and I'm very excited to be here to share, um, especially this class format, guys. So this format is what I truly believe is the all-in-one, right? It's like going to Target. You just get it all done right there, right? So um, hit, right? We're going to start off with 20 minutes. It's a solid 20 minutes of kick your butt hit, okay? We want to become breathless. We want to get that heart um, pumping. We want to we want to get hot if we can, maybe get a little sweaty. Um, it's kind of hard for me. It's 20 degrees outside and I'm in my basement. But you know what? I'm going to still get warm too. Um, and that's the beauty of it. And then we're done in 20 minutes with that. Okay. And then we're just going to transition right in to some yoga. Okay. And we're going to slow it down. We're going to stretch. We're going to move our bodies, um, in a sustainable way, in an efficient way where we're, we're moving all of our, you know, full range of motion, moving our joints, um, and just feeling good. And that way we end our class, we finish it, um, hopefully feeling very balanced, um, hopefully uh, calm, but also strong and focused and steady and ready to move on with our day. So um, so that's it. Um, I'm going to get started. It, Like I said, it's going to be a full 20 minutes um, of hit to begin. And I'm going to get my timer started here. Um, okay, so let's just get your body moving, right? So before you really go straight off into, um, you know, hit high intensity interval training, you want to at least start to get the body moving. So maybe just pick the knees up, make some hip circles, okay, up and around. But the thing about HIT, if you're freaked out, like, oh my God, I've never done HIT, okay? I get it. I was there not long ago. Um, <laughs> it can be a little intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. Here's the thing. Everything we do, you can either scale it up or you can scale it down, okay? But the biggest thing is you just don't want to stop, right? So if you need to slow it down, slow it down. Try some butt kickers here, just nice and slow. Pull your heel up behind you. Try to kick your butt, okay? Um, and maybe start to get your arms involved. Just a nice open arm, cross out in front. Um, so yeah, so and I'll try to give modifications, obviously, to show you where you can go to maybe slow it down a little bit or maybe even pick it up a little bit, okay? Um, but we're gonna get it all in, in just 20 minutes. Um, we're doing a classic, maybe just do a ge um, gentle jumping jack here to start um, while I talk. <laughs> um, we do a classic kind of style of Tabata where we've got our work is more than our rest, right? So we're gonna do 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna do eight cycles, but two different exercises for each set. So our first one is going to be star jumps, star jumps and a front to back lunge. Okay, so in star jump, we're going to reach down to opposite toe and then jump up like a star, right? So opposite toe, opposite hand to foot, jump up, okay? So it's down and up, down and up, all right? Um, and then a front to back lunge, we're going to stick with one leg and we'll switch it out in the next time we come back to it. Okay. So just stepping forward, tap center, step back, tap center. You want to stay nice and low on that pivot leg. Okay. Um, so those are going to be our first two exercises. So we'll flip flop. We'll do one, then the other. Okay. 
it goes fast, guys. It seems like a lot maybe at first, but it goes fast. So 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Um, maybe just do a little jog in place right now just to keep the body moving. All right. Maybe even do just a little side stretch with a toe tap. Okay. We're almost there. We're going to get started here in 15 seconds with those star jumps. Okay, guys. Um, all right. So let's get ourselves ready. Feet wider than your hips. All right. Arms up. Here we go. Star jumps. So opposite hand to foot, jump up, down and up. Try to get some air. All right. And right away, this is one you can scale down. Look, you don't have to jump. Just down and up, okay? You want to get that cardio, though? Make it snappy. Get up there. Catch some air. Get off the ground. Good. Keep it going. When you come down, nice long spine, right? Try not to round your back. Here we go. That's it, okay? So, first little um, interval there. Let's go front to back with our lunge. <laughs> Already got the heart rate up, right? All right, ready for your lunge? Here we go. So forward, tap, back, tap. Forward, tap, back. So this one is not necessarily about going fast, right? We want to make sure we're staying in control, staying nice and low. My pivot leg is already burning. <laughs> Yours probably is too. That's good. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, guys. Back to our star jumps. All right? So, set yourself up. Right? Feet a little bit wider than your hips. Arms up. Spread your fingers wide. Here we go. Down and up. Down. All right. Here we go. Down and up. Bend into those knees. Get a nice long spine. Don't round your back. If you can't touch all the way down, that's okay. Maybe just tap a knee. Right? Be right there. Almost there. Five seconds. Whew. Keep it going. Get one more in. All right. Whew. All right, guys. Back to our lunge. So now switch sides. Make sure you've got a different pivot leg. Okay. So now my left is my pivot leg. Here we go. Forward and back. Forward and back. Whew. Good work, guys. So the beauty of HIT is the efficiency, <laughs> if you ask me. And who doesn't want efficiency? I want to get it done, and I want to be done with it, right? And I want to know that I got everything in. And you will with these HIIT workouts, I promise you. You're going to get it all. All right? Good work. Here we are, already on to our third little cycle here. Here we go. Down and up. Star jumps. Down and up. Down and up. Whew. Really explode off the ground. Reach up high. Down and up. Whew. So good, you guys. Keep it going. Let's see where we're at. Oh, 10 seconds. <laughs> Almost there. Whew. Down and up. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Back to our lunges. Last time with this leg. All right. So ground down through your pivot leg. Soften the knees and get ready. Here we go. Forward and back. You can keep your hands out in front. You can keep your hands on your hips. That helps sometimes. So we're working on our balance here too, right? <laughs> and we'll work through all the planes of motion. So good. Forward and back. We'll go side to side. Up and down. We got it all. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, guys. These are our last two exercises for this set. 
See, just whoosh, blowing through it. <laughs> All right. Last round here for our star jumps. Get ready. Here we go. Down and up. Whew. So it's your last one. See if you can maybe ramp it up just a little bit. Okay. Get that jump in there. Really explode off the ground. Get up in the air. Reach. Reach. So good. Almost here. Five seconds. Whew. There we are. All right. We've got our last little front to back lunge. Okay. Soften the knees. Whew. Keep your shoulders back. Chest lifted. Here we go. Nice and low. Keep it going. Whew. It's amazing. Just a couple minutes. And my body is warm. My heart is pumping. Whew. Right? Getting my, out of that comfort zone where we make some change. Whew. Get one more in. All right. <laughs> okay. So we just have a quick 45 second break. Get a little sip of water. And <laughs> our next two exercises. Okay. So squat out wide. Fingertips behind your head. Squat, twist, elbow to knee. Okay. Then we've got a push up to side plank. I want your feet kind of wide. Okay, push up, side plank, roll to one side. Push up, roll to the other side. Okay, we start with our squats. Here we go. Squat low, twist, squat, twist. So this one again, kind of slower, slowing it down a little bit, cardio wise, but staying nice and strong in the legs. And we get the core here involved as we twist and pull that knee up, all right? So really think about drawing that back elbow all the way back when you twist, okay? It's gonna get that core. All right, guys, push up to side plank. Can you use your knees? Of course, of course. <laughs> But try it without maybe just one, right? To your side, center, push up. To the other side, side plank, okay? And just keep it going, right? If this is your first time ever trying an exercise like this, the first one is just kind of where you practice <laughs> and you figure it out, see what works for you. Try to get one more in. Okay, and then you know you have three more opportunities to get it better, right? To ramp it up a little bit if you want to. All right, so let's get ready here for our squat with twist. Ready? Fingertips behind your ears, behind your head. Okay, and again, really when you twist, pull that back elbow all the way back and twist. That's going to get those obliques involved. And that's what we want, right? A compound movement where we are getting legs, core, a little upper body even. Okay? Whew. So good. All right. Back to our push up to side plank. Get yourself ready. And here we go, down and to the side, okay? Down and to the side. So when you roll to the side, if your feet are nice and wide, they should just kind of stagger, right? So it helps you to be nice and control, nice and steady. Keep going guys, we got five seconds, that's it. Whew. That's it. All right. 
so good. We've already got four done, four to go, right? Back to our squat. Can you squat a little deeper, right? Maybe you can go a little bit faster now that you've got the quality of the movement down, okay? We always, I always at least, <laughs> like to stress quality over quantity, okay? So you could do 100 crappy squats, right? Or you could do 10 really good squats. And I personally believe the 10 really good ones far outweigh the crappy 100, okay? So just think about that when you're doing anything, okay? All right, back to our plank push-up to side plank. Ready? Here we go. So if you were going to use your knees here, I would just drop down here, knees, okay? Then pop up and do your side plank if you can, okay? Because side plank on your knees, eh, I mean, it kind of works, but I would say get up onto your feet for the side plank part if you can, okay? Keep it going. We got just five seconds here. See if you can get two more in. Maybe it's just one more. <laughs> good job. All right. So good. Just two more. Back to our squats with our twist. All right, guys. Fingertips back. Elbows nice and wide. Chest lifted. All right. Squat low and twist. Low. Twist. Really pull that knee up. Pull those elbows back. Get that core involved. Here we go, guys. Get low, twist. Get low, twist. Over halfway. Almost done with this, guys. Okay? Five seconds right here. Give it everything you got. One more. Whew. All right. Okay. Push ups to side plank. Last one here. Sorry, that's probably loud. All right. Right here, let's go. Push up, side plank. And if you were counting these, right, that's your last one, maybe just see if you can add one more push up. Okay, challenge yourself. Last time doing push ups for this. Okay, keep it going. See if you can get two more in. Right here. Woo, so good. Ha. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a 45 second break. Get a sip of water. And we are on to our last set already, okay? Um, so, we will do speed skaters and then a V sit up with cross body. So, um, opposite arm to opposite toe, okay? So, speed skaters. Nice and low. It's a side-to-side -side action, and it's like a curtsy lunge behind when you come across, okay? And then our V up is opposite foot to opposite hand. Get up, though. Let's do our speed skaters. Here we go. <laughs> Not much of a rest there, right? So get nice and low in those speed skaters. You might not touch down, but you might reach those fingertips towards the ground, okay? and then explode as you come off that foot. Jump all the way across as far over to the side as you can. Keep it going, guys. All right, almost there. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, all the way down. So if coming all the way up doesn't work for you, then just do a bicycle crunch. Okay, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Okay, otherwise reach all the way down, all the way up. Whew. Let's get that core, here we go. Keep it going. Up and down, up and down. Whew. So good guys, up and down. Just five seconds, here we go. Get one more in. Whew. All right. Not much time. 
to get up, get ready for your speed skater. If you have um, your yoga mat, use your yoga mat this time maybe as a guide. So try to go from one side, one end of your yoga mat, right, to the other, okay? It's kind of a nice guide. And really jump, get over there. And then again, once you've got the quality of the movement, then you can increase speed, okay? Once you're feeling comfortable and confident in your move. Keep that spine nice and long. Whew. All right, back down. Whew. No resting though, right? We got work to do here. Okay, reach and get ready. Here we go. Here we go. Up and down. Up. And again, if you need to, bend the knee and do like a bicycle crunch, right? Okay. Otherwise, it's all the way up, <laughs> all the way down. Up and down. Up. Up. Five seconds, guys. One more. Yeah. All right. Let's get back up. And back to our speed skaters. Okay, guys. Get ready. Nice and low. Okay. Remember, keep. So we're reaching down, but again, we don't want to round the spine. Okay. So keep a nice long spine as you reach down. Bend the knees, okay? Not the back. <laughs> Whew. Get it moving side to side, right? This is your third time doing this. So this is your opportunity to get out of that comfort zone and start making things happen, <laughs> okay? Whew. Yeah, that's it. Get down, get ready. Get ready. Here we go, guys. V ups, opposite hand to foot. Again, you do the variation that works for you. Keep it going. Over halfway. Almost there, guys. Five, three, and done. Whoa. All right, guys. Last time here for our speed skaters. All right. And then just one last round with those sit ups. We are done. Get ready, speed skaters. Let's make it count. Go. Get low. Jump higher. Jump further. Do whatever you can right here to get that cardio, get into your legs, you're even getting into your core as you reach, right? We got it all right here. Make it happen. Only you, right? I can tell you what to do all day long, but you gotta do it for yourself, okay? Three, two, one, boom, done. Okay, down on your back. Here's our last one. Right here, reach your arms out, legs long, and let's go. Up, 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 up. Try to meet in the middle too, okay? So foot and hand, Whew. Keep going guys, so close, 10 seconds. Five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ding, ding. Yay. Holy moly. All right, guys. So we have 20 seconds now. 20 seconds. I'm sorry. We have 20 minutes now. Thank goodness. Um, but let's stand up. All right. And let's just walk around just a little bit after all that effort. Okay, get a little water. Take a couple deep breaths. <laughs> all 
All right. So hopefully you're feeling good, warm, breathless. Okay. It is all about becoming breathless. That is where the magic happens. That's where that oxygen debt, okay, if you ever heard about that, um, comes into play. Where we're just torching calories, i.e. Christmas cookies. Ah, okay? So, but now, now is our opportunity. Our body wants this, guys, to come back into balance, okay? So, let's find child's pose, okay? So, get this out of my way. Um, bring your big toes to touch. Open your knees nice and wide. And reach your arms as far forward as you can. Melt your forehead into the mat. And right here, take a deep breath in through your nose. And a beautiful, well-deserved, long exhale. Okay, and just a nice deep breath in through your nose. And then open your mouth. Take a nice long exhale out. Let's take one more here. And then when you're ready, let's come up to a tabletop position. So walk your hands in slightly so they're right underneath your shoulders. And the knees are right underneath your hips. And then we're just going to connect to our breath, moving through some cat and cow postures. So as you breathe in, you're going to drop your belly down. You're going to look forward or maybe even all the way up towards your ceiling. And you're going to tilt your tailbone up. Okay, I already feel a nice stretch from all those sit-ups just here in this pose. And then as you exhale, you're going to round your spine. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Tuck your tailbone down. And now just really move with the breath at your own pace. As you breathe in, you roll through cow pose. As you breathe out, you come into cat pose. So maybe slower, maybe faster than the pace I'm going. You just do you, what's working for you right now. And you know what? If it feels good to kind of slide side to side even. So in my cow pose, sometimes it feels good to kind of look over one shoulder and then the other. You get a little bit more of a stretch into your side body. You can go ahead and feel that as well. And then when you come into your cat, you can kind of do the same. Kind of pull into one side or the other. Just stretch out any of those little nooks or crannies that are deep in there that feel like they might need a little attention. And then just come back to one more solid cow and cat pose with your breath. And then just find a neutral spine. And from here, keep your left hand down. We're going to reach the right hand as far forward as we can and drop your forehead down to the mat. So press into your right hand Pull back, though energetically, pull back on that right shoulder. Whew, we should feel a really nice opening for that upper arm, armpit, and upper back. Take another breath here. And then just gently slide that hand back into place. And then we're going to stick with this, though. Reach the right arm now up to the sky as so you're taking a little twist to your right. Spread your fingers wide. Just a gentle opening and twist. And then as you exhale, your next exhale, you're going to thread the needle, as we say. So we're going to drop that right shoulder down and drop the side of your head down if you can. And then you can stay here if you wish. You can reach the left arm up. Stay here or spin that thumb all the way around and reach, bend the left elbow and reach for that right hip crease. Okay, you're kind of like a little pretzel here, but it's a nice little bind and opening for both shoulders now. Take a breath and just let it go. If you took the bind or the twist, just release that left hand back down and then just slowly 
find yourself back in tabletop position. And then we'll just do the other side. So stretch that left hand as far forward as you can. Drop your forehead down to the mat. And again, press into your left hand and then pull back. Pull back energetically on that left shoulder and that left hip even so that you're feeling that nice opening. Ah, nice stretch for the left upper arm, armpit. Maybe one more breath here. And then as you're ready, slide yourself back up and we'll twist. Left arm's gonna reach up now. Spread your fingers wide. Breathe in. And then your exhale, we're gonna thread the needle. You're gonna sweep that left arm all the way down. You're gonna drop into that left shoulder, side of the head down. You can stay right here, guys, okay? Or you can follow along with the twist. Or you can spin that hand all the way around, internally rotate that shoulder, reach around for that left hip crease. Pull back on that right shoulder if you're doing the bind. So you feel that nice stretch. And just take another breath. Maybe close your eyes. And then if you took the bind or the twist with that right arm, just slowly release it back down. And then gently guide yourself back up to tabletop position. Now, tuck your toes under without going anywhere yet. I just want you to push back into those feet. So feeling that nice, deep stretch as you press into those big toe mounds. A stretch for the toes and the feet. And then just walk your hands forward about a foot. Toes are going to stay tucked under and just start to straighten those legs. Lift up into downward facing dog. Oh, so those legs got a good workout <laughs> in our hit. And so this downward dog should feel good. It might feel a little tight and that's okay. Maybe try just bending the right knee, pressing down through that left heel and then switch it out. Bend into the left knee. Press down through the right heel. And then just do your best to straighten both legs. They might not be straight and that's okay. All right, but if you need to with the knees just slightly bent, that's okay, right? But still work on tilting the tailbone up and back and really start to work on lengthening the spine as you press away from the mat, okay? And then just take one more big breath in here. Exhale it all out. And now I want you to lift your heels up nice and high. Another little stretch for the feet. Look forward and I want you to come to the top of your yoga mat and just take a forward fold. So feet can be hip width apart. Let your head hang heavy. Let your shoulders relax. If you wanna deepen the stretch here, just grab the backs of your legs, pull yourself down. And again, if those hamstrings or lower back are talking to you, just soften the knees, okay, to release some of that tension. And then just slowly roll up to standing, to Dasana Mountain Pose. Just keep your arms down by your side for now. Roll the shoulders back and down. Arms down by your side. The palms are open. Root down through your legs. Close your eyes. Just take a breath. Now let's move, sweep the arms up, press the palms together, look up. And now with your right hand, grab your left wrist, spin your palm forward, okay? And then pull on that wrist and stretch over to your right. So a nice little side stretch here. Breathe into your left rib cage, press down through your left foot. And come back to your center with your left hand, grab your right wrist, reach up and over. Oh, just enjoy it and come back up to your center now bring your hands all the way back behind you interlace the hands here roll the shoulders back lift the chest curl back if you can keep pressing into both feet equally and then soften your knees and I want you to pull your belly all the way down to your thighs all right Keep the knuckles reaching up and overhead if you can. Bellies to thighs. Drop your head. And then work on straightening the legs if you can, 
okay? So the legs, again, may not get straightened all the way. That's okay. If you're feeling a stretch and it feels pretty good, we are a-okay, guys. <laughs> That's all we need, right? Doesn't matter what it looks like. How does it feel? Release the hands down. Take a halfway lift. So just slide your fingertips up your shin bones. Lengthen your spine. Breathe in. And when you exhale, just plant your hands. Step back to plank pose. And then lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Press into your hands. Roll your shoulders back as you lift into cobra pose. Breathe in. And exhale it down. We're going to do one more of those. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, release it down. Now tuck your toes under. Press back up through plank to downward facing dog. So let's reach the right leg up as you breathe in. Stretch the right leg up nice and high. And then step on through to lunge pose. So just pull your right foot forward. All right. And then just deepen that lunge if you can. Allow the hips to move forward and down. Okay. You can be on your fingertips here. Lengthening the spine, looking forward. <sighs> nice big breath in. Getting a nice stretch here for those psoas muscles, those hip flexors, the muscles that run along the front of the hip there. And then as you exhale now, let's just pull back as much as you can. We're going to straighten that right leg as we're going to pull back on the right hip, flexing the toes towards your face. Bow forward. Good. Now let's come back to our lunge pose and let's test our balance a little bit. Let's rise up to a full crescent lunge. So lifting the torso, arms reaching up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Breathe in, reach up. Whew. So good. Just take another breath here. Awesome. And then exhale and release. Cool. From here, let's just spin around to the left and take a nice wide leg forward fold. Bow in between the legs. Nice stretch for the hips. Exhale it out. And then just come up about halfway. We're going to spin all the way around now to our left foot. So now facing the what was the back edge of your yoga mat. The left foot is forward now. Step back to plank pose. Lower yourself to the ground. Nice. Cobra. Breathe in. Roll up. Exhale. Roll down. Tuck your toes under. Press up to plank to downward facing dog. Big breath in and exhale it all out. Let it go. Good work. Left leg high. Inhale. Stretch it up. Big old stretch for that right leg that's rooting down. And then step through to lunge pose. Anyway, we're just going to hang here for a moment to enjoy the stretch. Okay, so feel it. Where are you feeling it? Where are you needing the opening? I know my psoas are feeling pretty tight. So I'm going to send my breath right there. Big inhales and exhales, okay, and then just as much as you can, okay, we're going to pull the hips up and back, we're going to straighten that front leg, flex the toes back towards your face, and pull back on the hips, Whew. we worked those legs pretty hard in those 20 minutes, so take care of them here, <laughs> one more breath, and then release. Back to your lunge pose. Okay, and again, just testing our balance a little bit here as we rise up to full crescent lunge. Reaching the arms up. Spread your fingers wide. Maybe even look up towards your ceiling, testing your balance a little bit more as you shift your gaze up. Beautiful, one more breath and release. Now look over your right shoulder, spinning around back to that wide leg. Forward fold, come back to your center. Release the head down. Let the shoulders relax. Just enjoy the stretch. Take one more breath wherever you are. 
and then again just come up about halfway we're going to spin around back to that right leg so now the top again of our yoga mat step back to plank lower yourself to the ground breathe in cobra roll up exhale release it down tuck your toes under press up through plank to downward facing dog hips up and back oh, all right now guys let's reach that right leg high one more time and now pull your knee forward right knee right behind your wrist and drop into pigeon pose okay so the right shin bone is down on the ground the left leg is back behind you take a breath here just lengthen the spine and then you can come forward and down into full sleeping pigeon if you wish forehead all the way down to the mat or you can always rest forearms or hands on top of one another and bring your forehead there just for a couple of deep breaths here to continue to open up these hips and legs soften through the lower back relax the shoulders Good guys, slowly come up out of that. Tuck your back toes under and just swing that right leg all the way back up. If it feels good, you can bend that knee, open up the hip, and then just release it. Other side, left leg goes up, breathe in, stretch it high. And we're gonna come back into that pigeon now. Left knee comes to the ground right behind the left wrist. Slide your back leg, your right leg all the way back and down. Lengthen up through your spine. Check that you're as center as you can be. All right, so we're not leaning too much here. We're not leaning over to our left, but we're centering our weight. And then again, just coming forward and down to where it feels good to you. And you know, I'm noticing already right away, whew, that left hip is really tight. Okay, and that's okay. I'm gonna just breathe into it. Big inhales. And allow some of that tension to follow out and go with my exhales. And right here, right, if your mind is starting to wander, thinking ahead about your day, your to-do list, See if you can just reel it back in just for these last few moments. And do that by focusing on the breath. Breathing in through your nose, fill up. Fill up your entire body with that breath in. And then exhale it all out. Let it all go. Slowly roll yourself back up. Hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your back toes under. Swing that left leg back high up to the sky. Shake it out. Again, maybe bend that left knee if it feels good. And we'll release to downward facing dog. Our last downward dog this morning. See if you can root those heels down just a little deeper towards your yoga mat. Shift those hips up just one more inch. Take one more big, big breath in. And then release through tabletop, cross your ankles behind you, come onto your seat, and then roll yourself all the way down to your mat. We're just gonna take a gentle twist, and then we just have time for a quick little shavasana, okay? So pull the right knee in to your chest, and gently draw the knee across your body <clears throat> to your left, and you could gaze over your right shoulder. Soften back through your shoulders. Close your eyes if you can. And then come back to your center. Release the right leg, pull the left knee in, give it a good squeeze, and gently draw the knee across your body to your right. Gaze over your left. Again, relax back through your shoulders. Soften through your hips, your spine. And 
and then come back to your center. Pull both knees in here, guys. And then if you wish, you can pull your forehead all the way up to your knees. Squeeze in really tight so you feel all of your muscles engaged and alive, energetic. And then fully release into Shavasana. Again, we're just here for a short, sweet little Shavasana to finish our class. I just want you to lay here for a few breaths to fully absorb all of your hard work, all of your hit class, all of your yoga. And be proud, right? Be proud of your efforts, guys. If you did this class today or whenever, you know, taking that time to take care of you, I think, is should be at the top of your to-do list every single day. And it's so hard, I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, I feel like, especially as moms who are home with these kids all day, like, when, how am I going to do this? But we have to, right? If we're expected to give any more, we have got to give back to ourselves. So be proud of your efforts. When you're ready, just slowly roll over onto one side. Make your way back up to a seated posture, just nice and slow. If you have the time and the opportunity, you still got kids sleeping or whatever, you've got time, hey, stick with that Shavasana. <laughs> stick with it as long as you can. Um, Otherwise, you can come up to a seated posture, sitting up nice and tall. Just close your eyes. Find your breath once more. Inhale through your nose. Fill up. Sit tall. And then exhale it all out. Let it all go. We bring our hands together to our heart center to honor this beautiful practice of yoga and also to honor ourselves, right? Our efforts and the work that we put in to take care of ourselves, to become, or to rather find that best version of ourselves so that we can go back out into our world and do all that we need to do. So thank you for joining me, guys. Um, I truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again soon. Friday morning this week, I will be doing a just a 30-minute yoga class on Friday morning too if you want to join me. Okay, guys? Namaste. Thank you so much.